I'm so thirsty. I think I'm gonna do this again. Yeah. Check out how much money I got. I didn't know you had the supplies to make a balloon car. Yeah, I've been saving it for a rainy day. It is a rainy day. Well, look at that. Let's do it. All right. Now that we have everything ready, why don't we start this experiment? First, you will need a cup, a balloon, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. You'll also need four rubber bands, two lifesavers, and a wooden dowel. The first thing you need to do is to cut a shape into the cup so that it looks more like a car. Once you have the hole cut out, you need to puncture two holes on either side of the cup for the wooden dowel to be placed in. It's important to ensure that it's straight across so that your dowel isn't crooked. And be sure when using the pencil and the scissors to have adult supervision. After you have both your holes punctured, you can stick the wooden dowel into these two holes. This way, you can have the wheels ready. This will be done first by placing a rubber band on each end. Once both rubber bands are on the wooden dowel, you can place the first lifesaver on the dowel and put another rubber band on the outside to ensure the lifesaver doesn't fly off. Okay, now that both wheels are securely on the car, I'm going to let CJ show you how to make a hole for the balloon. What you will do is use a pencil to puncture a hole in the back in the very center. Make sure that this is very smooth and not too small, but not too large. This way the balloon can fit snug, but it also will not be too tight so that air can fall through. Drag is a force that slows down a car when it faces the wind because of gravity. And acceleration is the speed the car gains as the balloon lets air out. I have my balloon car too. Let's race! Three, two, one. I win. 